Hello and welcome to Hoffman Photography. My name is Rainer, I'm a photographer and photo instructor. In this second video about lenses and how to use them most effectively, we'll have a look at the normal lenses that are sometimes also called standard lenses. When I bought my first SLR camera back in 1974 or so, it came with a 50mm lens, like this one. We didn't have autofocus in the 1970s, of course. Actually, pretty much every SLR camera came with a 50mm lens. And for many aspiring photographers, me included, it was the only lens we had for a couple of years bef before we could afford another lens. Why is it called a normal lens? Well, it's supposed to have roughly the same angle of view as the human eye. That's not strictly correct, but for all purposes, it's good enough. Having roughly the same angle of view as the human eye means that the images taken with a normal lens look very natural without distortion and without forced perspective close to what we see with our naked eye. And therefore the normal lens is probably the least glamorous lens of all the lenses out there. But, glamorous or not, Henri Cartier-Bresson, one of the famous photographers of the early 20th century, is said to have taken all his images with only the normal lens. I don't know whether that's entirely true or not, but at least the major body of his work was indeed taken with a 50mm lens on a Leica camera. And his images are truly impressive. As I've said before, the focal length of the normal lens for the 135mm format, nowadays called full frame format, is about 50mm. But let's have another look at our table of focal lenses and angle of view. It is generally agreed that focal lengths of about 40 to 60 millimeters can be considered normal for the full frame format. Of course, there is no sharp boundary and even a focal length of 35 millimeter or 70 millimeters could be considered normal because the images taken with these focal lengths look still quite natural. For APS-C or DX cameras, a focal length of about 35 millimeters is considered normal and for MFT cameras, it's about 25 mm. Again, there is no sharp boundary. Nowadays, the normal lens is no longer really popular. But many zoom lenses like this 24 to 105 mm lens cover the range of normal focal lengths. In this case, about 40 to 60 mm for a full frame camera. Many APS-C uh, and the X cameras come with an 18 to 55 mm kit lens that again covers the range of normal focal lengths for the APS-C format, about 35 mm. And of course there are corresponding lenses for the MFT format. However, a normal lens, meaning, and that's important, a prime lens of the proper focal length can make a lot of sense simply because these lenses usually have a very large aperture of f1.8 or even f1.4 like this one. And that makes them a very good choice for low light conditions and images with a very shallow depth of field. And at least the 50mm lenses with a maximum aperture of f1.8 are very reasonably priced. Expect a retail price of approximately 120 to 130 dollars. If you have only used zoom lenses before, then using a 50 mm prime lens can be a whole new experience. There's no more turning the zoom ring. If you want a differently cropped image, then you have to move. You have to move closer to your subject or farther away from your subject. And that necessarily results in a different perspective. 
here's a little challenge for you. Use a normal lens, whatever focal length that is for your camera, for a whole day, or even better, for a whole week. If you don't have a 50mm prime lens, or generally speaking, if you don't have a prime lens, then just set your zoom lens to the proper focal length and fix it with some sticky tape. You may be in for some pleasant surprises. You may change the perspective on your subject completely in the very sense of the word perspective. Have fun and thanks for watching.